Tony Ruggiero. Today we're here at the Vancouver Natural Bodybuilding Fitness Figure and Bikini Championships. We've got a backstage pass and we've got Victor the Dominican Dominator here. How you doing today, Victor? Good, good. How you and doing? I'm doing good. I'm good. doing good. So tell us, uh, you were telling me in the car you just got back from L.A. You were working yeah, with Charles yeah. Glass a little bit? Just got bit. back. You know, I mean, you're in L.A. and uh, one of the best trainers, you know, lives there, trains out of there. So got to take advantage of the visit and I definitely always do every time in L.A. Try to get in a little workout with Charles Glass. But I am actually right now preparing with uh, um, this guy, Joe McNeil. And how did you hook up with Joe McNeil? Joe McNeil, I actually uh, just been watching him over the years. I always, He's always only worked with Dexter. Um, he retired for a few years. He came back. Um, last year, I was working with Chad. Decided to try something different. So Joe McNeil uh, was something what's, that was looming in the air for a while. And I, I like, basically, I liked his work. I liked his uh, consistency. Mm -hmm. And I decided to just make a, a change just to see uh, for this year. He's got a great track record. I'm sure yes, he'll have yes, some, definitely uh, a good track some record. Some good, good results yeah, with yeah. him, and that's what we're all looking forward to seeing yeah. you at your best because we know we have yet to see it. Uh, 2008 runner-up, yeah. Mr. Olympia. Seven, seven. 2007 has already been. I was robbed. I was you robbed. were robbed. We know you were <laughs> robbed. That, do, you, do you feel that was the best Victor Martinez that we had seen up to this point? To date, to, to date, date, yes. Yes, today, uh, again, you know, it is bodybuilding, so changes happen consistently over the years. And uh, right now, fast forward three years later, and uh, an injury here and there, but uh, I'm definitely looking to stay healthy. And I skipped the Arnold in order to focus on the Olympia, in order to show my full potential, uh, not just taking the year off, but also taking advantage of the year off. And, and looking forward to making those changes. All right, I think that was yeah. a smart move. How, how's the leg progression going, the training? Oh, this is great, it's great. Uh, my training is great. Again, staying healthy is, is number one with bodybuilding, uh, not, not getting re-injured. Uh, you always want to steer away from injuries. Sure. Um, and, and also uh, staying, keeping up with my nutrition. And like I said, my nutrition is Joe McNeil, guiding me the right way, and uh, so far, so good. So when will you start your preparation for the Olympia this year? Well, that won't happen right now. Actually, I, I have I started my prep. You look like you're Olympia. in good shape. I mean, yeah. I've seen you years pass off season. You, know, you put on some weight. Yeah, I, can see I your started my tighter. prep, but my pre-contest I have not started yet. Uh, diet, as far as diet goes, but my prep, every workout I do is gearing basically for the Olympia. Every week I complete in, in workouts, it's for the Olympia. Every games that I'm trying to put right now is for the actual show. So my prep did start, my pre-contest diet won't start until three weeks, uh, uh, actually uh, three months, 12 weeks out. Yeah. Where do you see yourself, Victor, five years from now? Where do you see, do you see numerous Olympia titles? Do you see yourself doing the Arnold Classic some more? What no, Victor, definitely, what definitely. Do you see uh, big picture? No, definitely uh, Olympia is definitely something I, 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 I see looming in the air. Uh, the Arnold is always a great show to do. I mean, you ask any other pro that have done the Arnold, it's, it's one of the best shows to do. And, and Arnold himself makes sure that he treats the athletes very well. So the Arnold will definitely be next year. Um, a few Olympias. Uh, will I do it well into my 40s? It's bodybuilding, you never know. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And how's your drive? You still feel you have the drive that you had when you were young now? Preparing? Still have the drive. Now it's just, uh, there's more structure. So it's much easier. When before it was uh, guessing, not knowing, not sure. So when something's more precise and, and more structure, the excitement always uh, is always there. And I stay hungry because I still haven't won the biggest show there is, the Olympia. So you stay hungry. And yeah, that happened in 07. I mean, most people would be discouraged, but you just have to keep going and keep going on, keep trying. And, and it wouldn't be bodybuilding if it was, you know, you just win it the first time. Right. Uh, I know I read something about you. Uh, I read that you, you actually hired a psychologist that you had learned from Jay when he got runner up like three times. Did you actually do that? Was that no, that, that was, that was actually a joke. I said that, oh, you know, 
Jay was lucky that he won the 07 Olympia, you know, because of the trauma I endured by losing it to him. Uh, when he was at his worst, I needed to get a psychologist. Oh, okay. I was going to say, well, what did you learn from no, that? Well, you, no, 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 I didn't. What did you didn't. learn the most from your losses? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't get a psychologist. I just sucked it up and went right back to the gym. Yeah. And in the end, ultimately, no matter how hard the athlete works, it's up to the judges. Yeah. You know, so I could say I'm going to win. I could say I'm going to win. But I know what I can do. But it, again, when it's in the judges' panel, it's really out of your hands. It's not a race. It's not, you know, uh, 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 I mean, I don't even look at the scorecards. I mean, I've been bodybuilding so far uh, 18 years, and I still don't go by the scorecards. I think it's just a little it's something to make the athletes feel happy or whatever, but I, I don't go by it. You know, it's just me. My thing is, if you bring a complete package, if you're undeniably good, and you stand up there and, and I always say win by a long shot, and that's what I'm trying to do this year. You know, and that way not give any if, ands, or buts. What's your most memorable experience from a contest that you've taken away from, good, bad, or indifferent? Um, well, it's been Nationals, bad. I mean, anything, Night of the Champions, any particular I mean, contest that stood out more than another? I, I have to say uh, definitely winning the Arnold. Yeah. You know, winning the Arnold and... Uh, um, that, that, I mean, that's got to be the highlight of, of it all, winning the Arnold. Uh, I would say the second place runner up, I, I wouldn't say it was my best because it was bittersweet. So winning the Arnold was definitely my highlight of uh, being a professional bodybuilder. That's the icing on Yeah, the that, that was the icing. And then Arnold give, actually being there, giving you the trophy and watching Arnold on TV and all his success and, and him being an immigrant coming from Austria and coming to U.S. and being what he is and is what this country is about. And, and you see that. It gives me goosebumps, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah just... you see that and, uh, you know, I mean, you get a lot of people with the indifferences every, every time, whether it be sports or in bodybuilding, but Arnold kind of took that, takes that away. And, he pretty much puts everybody within the same circle as one because he showed up as an immigrant who was a bodybuilder. I mean, you could think the oddest of the odd, and then he became a big movie star. When and, no one said he yeah, could. Yeah, when nobody act, could. You can't and, read. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't even allowed to speak in his first film. Right. So you can imagine. And, and so just winning his show and being awarded by him, uh, that, that was definitely a highlight in my life. And, uh, and I can't wait to uh, my kids get older and they get to see it. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, I look forward to, uh, to mm -hmm. seeing you at the uh, Olympia this year. I think oh, you're you. definitely going to bring back. I hope nobody's uh, counting you out because you've been kind of laying low. You're not hearing a lot about Victor, no, but I it's think just better uh, that way. <laughs> we all know what you're capable of if yes. you bring it together. I want to thank you for uh, oh, joining me here you. on uh, Backstage. We're keeping you connected. Tony Ruggiero, Victor Martinez, we're thank out. You. All right.